What's up YouTube? So I am so excited to be back behind the camera. I was feeling really sick. Um, my throat was pretty scratchy. My nose was stopped up and had like a terrible, terrible headache. Um, so I went to the doctor and ended up finding out that I had a um, sinus infection. So I had to miss a couple of days of work also so I wasn't able to get content up and next week I had already planned to go to California to go visit Disneyland with my family and my fiance I'm finally able to I'm feeling better I'm back in town kind of caught up with my sleep I'm ready to just kind of get all my content out so today I wanted to do a video um I wanted to do a nice look that kind of gets you into the fall vibes because um, summer is kind of coming to an end here in Dallas. So um, I wanted to focus on black owned beauty makeup. Um, and those are going to be the products that I'm going to be using today. Um, with the exception of my brows, I always have to stick to my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and my Tape Shape to conceal. I always think that it's important to um, recognize these brands as they sometimes might not get as much recognition as the larger companies do that are not owned by minorities. And it's also something for me as well. I mean, I am proud to be um, biracial. I'm black and I'm Mexican. And it's important for me to appreciate my culture at all times. And so one of those things is by supporting um, people that look like me. Um, so I also am interested in doing another video um, that is by Hispanic owned beauty brands, which I'm gonna be probably doing that in a couple weeks from now. But with that being said, I just wanna hop right into it and kind of um, show you guys a look that I'm gonna come up with as we work with these makeup products. So one of the first things I'm gonna start with is a primer um, and Black Radiance has an HD um, primer which also has um, SPF and is 100% oil free. Being an oily skin person this is something important to have oil free. It is a tinted primer um, and I got natural nude. I'm trying to focus it in my oily zones, oily zones. Okay so for color correcting um, I found this really pretty really cute black radiance color correcting palette um, and also I like the back how it tells you what um, each color does. I found that to be really nice, especially for people who are beginners and sometimes these corrector palettes only show like they just have the colors and don't tell you what they're used for. And then just in case I needed some of these um, conceal colors, um, I'm going to go ahead and just take a flat concealer brush and get this corrector here and put it in my normal spots, which is I always do under my eye and around my mouth. I usually get around my mouth. I picked up the um, Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Makeup as well as the Iman Luxury Concealing Foundation. Um, I'm worried this color might be a little light, which it is. Um, so let me try the Iman to see what color that looks like. Oh, and this one's too dark. Yikes. But since this is going to be a little too light, I'm just going to go ahead and put on my Fenty Beauty. And I might end up using this around the concealer parts of my eyes to kind of give a little bit more full coverage. I'm just going to put on my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. Okay, Fenty. Always looking real good. Always looking real nice. So, got my foundation on. I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of this foundation um, under my eye to see if it would conceal. You know, I love my tape shape and sadly I'm not able to get any of that on. But let's see if this does something nice for my face. It actually is doing a little something. I have these two black opal foundation sticks. I was trying to see if I could use one as like an under eye concealer. Because I don't actually like these as a foundation um because they don't really stick foundations usually don't work out too well for me i just wanted to kind of get these under there to add to the highlight under my eye okay so this is definitely kind of popping for a mix of that foundation and that stick foundation under my eye okay I actually want to go ahead and bake under my eyes to set my concealer. So I'm actually going to be using the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. 
Um, it actually says that this is a new product, so I'm actually excited I got my hands on some new stuff. So this is banana. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake here. I'm getting powder everywhere, literally everywhere. <coughs> I'm gonna be using my Black Radiant True Complexion Contour Palette, uh, which is one of the, I've actually used to use this a lot. Um, Cause it, like this, it has a contour sculpt and a highlight color in here. Um, so I'm gonna grab my contour brush and just start to chisel out my face. Okay, so now I'm gonna move over to my eyeballs and I'm gonna go ahead and do an eyeshadow look. I wanted to kind of give you guys a somewhat fall look. But it is going to be maybe a little bit soft summer. He's still the Juvia's Palace Zulu and Masquerade palette. I'm actually going to go ahead and start with the Zulu palette and grab this orangey color right here. And I'm going to put it on the outside of my eyes. So this look might end up being colorfully slash summery still, but my goal was to get it to be more fall transition from summer to like fall. I'm then gonna take a little bit of a darker orange from the Masquerade palette. But let's see, I think I will take the color Zulu, which is right up here, um, and just kind of warm up that crease. Let me go ahead and use a smaller brush. And I'm gonna kind of add it to this crease here and try to warm it up a little bit. And deepen that up a lot of bit to deepen it up a little bit more I'm gonna take the color Fulani right here from the masquerade palette and put that on top and deepen it up a little bit more but focus it more like right here see it adds just it adds just a little bit more uh, warmth in it or not warmth it just deepens that color up some more um, now I want to add, I think I'm just going to go ahead and bust out this turquoise color on my lid. Um, I might need to cut out it, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out with some concealer. But let me try to put it on there first and see what it looks like. Oh, I might not need any. And I'm grabbing the color Ma Mally. Molly is called Papa Molly. I'm just kidding. Might need a brush to kind of blend it upwards, but wow, that color is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. I'm gonna get another fluffy brush, kinda, and see if I can pick some up and kind of blend it upwards. Okay, so wow, this is so when I'm right here, I'm gonna dust off the excess or excess excess banana powder. Okay, stuff all the powder. I'm gonna attempt to do a wing with the Black Radiance Fine Liquid Liner. Okay, so I went ahead and added my liner, um, which high key is not like even, but we're not gonna worry about that. <laughs> and also I'm gonna go and add on some Black Radiance um, blush in the color um, Warm Berry. It's a baked blush, really cute. And then for lashes, I want to feature the beautiful lashes from um, Monet Lashes. This is one of the smaller brands that I work with on Instagram, um, and they offer some gorgeous lashes. Um, these right here are the Monet Wispies, and when I went to Cali, I was wearing these like every day because they're so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on really quickly, and I'll be right back. So 
let's talk about how bomb these lashes are like these things are gorgeous like they're so beautiful because they give you all this volume on the inside and then they have volume on the inside too but it kind of kind of slows it down i literally live for these lashes they're so pretty and I i'm gonna go ahead and actually take the highlight from this um contour palette um from the black gradient contour palette and then let's get a little bit here And a little bit here. Let me add a little bit of Fix Plus to my shot eyeshadow eye highlight brush to see if that picks up a little bit more of the highlight color so it can be real dramatic. And then I think the last thing I'm missing is lipstick. So I'm gonna pick a color from Black Radiance Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream and I'm gonna be using color, it's called Naughty Brown. <laughs> So I'm going to put this on to kind of put together the whole look and this is the finished look um, using my black owned makeup brands for um, jumping into fall. Like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and recognize um, the black owned beauty brands. There are so, so many shades um, and colors around the world and I recognize that a lot of the main beauty brands that I do adore you know when they first come out with brands they don't recognize the darker shades but the black owned brands do recognize that that's just something I like I wanted to recognize and just use some different brands that I don't use every day thank you for tuning into my channel today I've definitely missed being behind the camera don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so Thanks for watching guys and hopefully we'll see you next week.